Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing kind of like this first impression video because I got a bunch of new stuff. Well, some new things. But I really wanted to test these brushes out from Royal and Lang Nickel that I found at Walmart for like 16 bucks. But they look like those like $100 or whatever, $80 brushes. But I wanted to try those on camera. So I've had these for like a freaking month. And today, I'm finally going to uh, use these. Also got a couple of other little things that I'm going to use today. So, let's get started. I'm going to start off with this moisturizer. It's from Clinique. It's the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. They also have one for gel, like a gel consistency for oily skin. So I'm just going to rub that in. So now, that's done. I'm going to start with this new primer I've got. Okay, I, I won't lie. I've used it a couple times. It's the Illuminator Estee Water Primer. So, actually, I really like this. Um, it actually stays kind of, it stays kind of tacky, which is nice for a foundation. And... I spray tanned, so now I have awkward tan things going on, and I don't really have a foundation that actually matches, so bear with me, because the closest one I have is Makeup Forever, and um, I don't use this one very often, it's 120, uh, Y245, but because I just, it's fancy, so... To me, it's fancy compared to my drugstore foundations, but that one doesn't match me. So, I'm going to take these beautiful little babies out. Let's see what the box says. Yeah. Shit. It says, create a flawless complexion with the Moda Face Perfecting Kit. These dense, ultra-soft brushes apply and blend cream and liquid makeup with minimal absorption, leaving more makeup for application. The unique shapes are designed to fit the contours of your face for optimal blending. I guess we'll see. I mean, they are very soft. <laughs> They're very soft. So this one is um, one. Of, I mean, 801, and it says for all over cream or liquid foundation, Move the brush in one fluid movement over your face to apply and blend. Okay. This one is 802. It says for blush and bronzer application for a stunning glow. Okay. We'll see about that. I'm nervous about that one. Uh, 803. Create flawless, flawlessly blended contour under your cheekbones, along your jawline, or at the hairline. Okay. Anyways. And then the smallest one is for precisely applying concealer, blending makeup under your eyes, or for contouring your nose and other small areas. Okay. I can see this for nose contouring, but I mean, I'll try for the concealer, but um, I'm not sure. I also have a damp beauty blender, I mean, real technique sponge with me. Just in case I don't like what it's doing to me. So, let's go ahead and start. They're kind of bendy, but I mean, they were like 16 bucks. So, take it or leave it. Alright. Let's start with foundation. I have my Tarte palette here. So, I'm just going to put it directly on the brush, I guess. i put three pumps. We'll start with three pumps. So, I'm just going to dab it first. Oh, it feels weird. I never, I haven't used a brush to apply foundation for a long time. So it says, use one fluid movement. So, let's just go for it. Oh my god. Oh. 
Well, crap. Let's just keep blending out this side. Now this is three pops of foundation. Okay. It's not blending it out too bad, actually. But, I mean, this side is the side with the foundation that uh, blended out. Uh, of course, I'm going to take it down my neck a little bit. I mean, I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, it's different because I usually use a sponge. So, obviously, that soaks up some product and it makes it more, uh, not as much coverage. But, you know what? It's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I mean, first off, these are just aesthetically pleasing. So that's probably a big reason I got them. I was like, oh, those are cool and beautiful. They look like they look like little mermaid brushes, kind of. Okay, I don't think I had as much product on this side. And honestly, it didn't, to me, it, okay, it kind of did. It soaked up some product, but it's not that much. Like, it isn't too much compared to, like, I don't know, a sponge, because obviously that soaks up a lot of product. Well, that's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and put on another uh, whatever. Whatever it is. Another squirt, whatever. Just to add some more coverage on this side. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think it did a pretty good job. Um, there's not a lot of coverage right here. Because you can still see, like, my freckles, which, I mean, I don't care. I love my freckles. So, but... And then you can see my little blemish here, and still there's some redness. So it's not that bad. So I just kind of like building up around here, which is bothering me. So I just take my sponge, and I just cleaned it, so it smells really good. So I just took my, I'm taking my sponge around the areas that look kind of, um, look kind of cakey to me. So... Yeah, my flat brush isn't too bad. Um, I'm going to have to use it more to get used to it because I'm not used to it. But that's okay. I'm going to go on to concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. This one is in Fair Beige. I know I had one er, before, but I lost it somehow, so that's nice. So I'm going to put some dots here. And then on my nose and my chin. So I'm going to try the weird little tiny brush. This one, not sure how I feel about it. Mm, I'll start with her chin. Oh no, that's too tiny. I'm gonna use this one right here. Okay. Apollo. Okay. So now I'm gonna use this one for the under eye. Um, I don't like it already. Yeah, I already don't like that. Um, no, no, no. Um, let me try this medium set, the one down. It says for blush and a bronzer, but that one's just too tiny for me for my under eye. Uh, personally, it's really tiny. I thought it was going to be kind of weird. I get what they're doing, but like, mm, I don't like it. Okay, there's a little too much product here, so I'm going to take my beauty blender. My Real Technique sponge, my beauty sponge. 
And with my tan, this looks so weird. Uh... But your girl is broke and cannot afford different shades. Usually I'm pasty, but now I'm not. I'm going to put a little bit more because your girl looking tired today. Oh, but that was a lot. That was too much. Oops. Oh, I'm also going to be using this to prime my eyes. I'm not doing anything too crazy because I don't have anything new. I'm going to take my airspun powder and just put it woo, all over so it's not sticky. Nothing bothers me more than like when my face, like right here, is still really sticky. It bothers me. Some new things I have is this little Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Summer Glow Multi Palette. So, um, it's kind of dirty. I haven't actually used this on my face because I was waiting to use this for this video. So, it has a little highlighter, this blush, and then this bronzer shade. So I'm going to use these today and see how it goes. So I'm going to start off with the uh, bronzer shade. Kind of nervous. I've only been using, I've only ever really used my Kat Von D palette. Okay. It's actually pretty light and it looks pretty, at least on my skin. Like, it's not too dark. Like, it's actually really pretty. I like it. Yeah. That's nice. Um, it starts off pretty light, but I think it's pretty buildable, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm into it. So, it's pretty light to me. Like, it's really a natural shade. But I like it. It's really pretty. So now I'm going to go on to the blush. There's like this weird film over it. So I'm kind of trying to brush that off. It's weird because when I went to like swatch it, it like took this top layer off and that's kind of what I'm like trying to do right now okay so I'm gonna dab my brush in a little bit and just put it on my cheeks don't see anything okay there it goes <laughs> It's really light as well, like, it just used to be built up I guess a lot. Okay, there it goes, whoa, that's party. Okay, blush don't bother me at all, I love blush. And I like the shade, the blush shade that's in here, okay, well. That's really pretty. What can I say? It's really pretty. So now I'm going to try the little highlight shade in here. Whew. Shit. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Whoa. That's so pretty. To me, this comes off more pigmented than the other two at first, but I mean, you can still really build it up. So that was this little palette. 
It's a really pretty, nice design. I love the gold packaging. That's really pretty. And I think it looks good. So, um, I was just going to put this on top because I was really excited about this. And it is the Jeffree Star Manny MUA collaboration. And this is Eclipse. And I've dug into this, okay? Um, the first day I got it, yeah, obviously I had to mess with it. But it has this really, really nice mirror and the cute little moon and star. And I love this highlight. So I'm going to put some on my nose. And on my lip. <laughs> and you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put it on top too of this highlight. Because who says you can't wear that more than one highlight? No one. Alright. So there's that. So I think I'm going to finish the rest of my face. And we will come back for two other new products. Guys, okay, so I went ahead and did the rest of, whoop, did the rest of my makeup. So now... I'm just going to apply some lipstick and the two new babies I have is the Jeffree Star Am Manny MUA collab lipsticks which is Daddy and I'm Shook. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to do. I'm thinking kind of like I'm Shook. Because there's like nothing else on my face. So yeah, we're going to go with this one. I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror in this highlighter to apply. Ugh. Now that the lipstick is applied, I applied I'm Shook, and it's not perfect, but it's fine. It's fine, and you don't always have to be perfect. So, my last step would be using a finishing spray. So, I got this Dewy Finish NYX Long Last uh, Setting Spray, and I really like it. I have been using it. It's like half empty. So, I'm going to use this and then we'll be done. That was everything I had today for my impressions kind of video. And actually, I really enjoyed everything that, you know, I tried today. The brushes, I'm still just going to have to get used to. have to play with them some more. And honestly, everything else is great. So go ahead and check out my other social media. I'm pretty active on Instagram at shylanta underscore beauty. And also go ahead and check out my Twitter. I'm trying to be active on there. It's just hard to like, tweet all the time. But it's again, shylanta underscore beauty. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go out and try some of this stuff. Go ahead and get something. Those brushes are pretty good. You know, $16. You can't beat that. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.